Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this error code you might be getting uh, in the Windows Store app uh, trying to download and install applications. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so I've actually written an article here that I'll link to in the description of this video. Um, but I'll just take you through the steps here that you need to perform. Uh, so you're getting this error code because the Windows Store cannot uh, communicate to the internet properly. So the first thing we need to do is go into the registry and uh, just check if there are any policies that are blocking the internet access. So to do that, click on start, type in reg edit and hit enter. If you get a UAC prompts like I did there, um, just click on yes. Uh, then browse to this path here. So it's a local machine, software, policies, Microsoft, uh, Windows, and then Windows Update. So if there's any um, settings in here, uh, leave default, but if there's anything else in there, just delete it, and then go into the Windows Store and try and install the app again. Uh, what that is saying there, that registry entry that we've just deleted, it's saying um, to run Windows Update, use these settings. So we've just deleted it, so it basically means that the connection will go directly to the server, because that, that could be what the issue is. So the next thing that we could do is to run the Windows App Troubleshooter. So if we click on the Start menu again, click on Settings or the little cog icon, click on Update and Security, then go into Troubleshoot. Uh, you should see lots of troubleshooters there. If you do not, click on additional troubleshooters. And we need to scroll down and find the Windows Store Apps Troubleshooter. So click on there and you can see that Run the Troubleshooter button has appeared. Uh, click on that Troubleshooter button. Uh, it's then going to ask you questions and it's going to scan your machine. If it finds any issues, it will automatically fix it. So run that and then try the store again. Uh, if it still doesn't work, um, check internet access on your machine. Go to um, another tab. Just do do a search in uh, Google and go to a website that you've not gone to before. So I know that this my internet access is working now because this is a site I've not been to. So I know it's not cached on my machine. I know there's no problem with the internet there. So we've ruled that out. Um, disable the local firewall. So if you click on start again, click on settings and we need to go back to the home. Then scroll down to update and security, click on Windows security on the left hand side there, uh, click on open Windows security, click on firewall and network protection. We can see here that the firewall is on for domain network, private network it's on and public network is on as well. So click on all three of these one by one and then just untick that. So once the firewall is disabled, uh, try the Windows Store app again. Uh, if it still does not work, uh, disable your local antivirus. So with your antivirus you can temporarily disable it. Um, so what I would do is I've got AVG here so if you just right click on it and typically you'll be able to just click on this slider to take the protection off. Um, a lot of the antivirus applications have got um, website scanners in it so it's possible that that is blocking the connection. So turn that off, try the Windows Store app again uh, and then make sure you come in here and enable it again after when you're finished. Okay, and the last fix I've got for you is to check your system proxy settings. So, if you open up Explorer, so click on the Start menu, type in Internet Explorer, and just left click on Internet Explorer here. Okay, once it's loaded, click on the cog, click on Internet Options, Connections tab, then click on LAN Settings, if automatically detect settings is ticked, untick that. And then if any of these two boxes are ticked, just untick those two as well. Click on OK, OK. Close down Internet Explorer. 
um, and then launch the Windows Store app, try and install the application again and it should install. Okay, thanks for watching this video. If you've got any questions, please post it in the question below. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.